really quickly on a Saturday afternoon. Good morning, Giovanna. Your shirt sure went out yesterday, so hopefully you'll get it by Monday or Tuesday. Hey, hey, hey. Just wanted to come on. I'm on my mobile office. I'm trying to keep my eyes on the road. <laughs> So I wanted to come on and say greetings to everyone on this morning. Please go ahead and share, or this afternoon I should say. Go ahead and share, share, share. We just wanna to talk to us for a little bit. And I want to get as many people on here as possible just to share this topic with me and with you all. Thank you. Yes, yes. Share it in the group if you can too, Giovanna. I'm in the Wives Who Win Club. If you can do that for me, that'd be great. I want to get some folks on this morning and just want to have a conversation with you all and also give you an opportunity to answer or ask any questions that you may have as it relates to marriage as a whole or relationships. So you saw the topic I, I said, you know, it's easy to blame others when you lack responsibility. And I want to speak in terms of that as it relates to relationships. Thank you, Giovanna, and also marriages as well. Uh, we already know what the statistic is regarding marriage and how people are drifting away in relationships and not just marriage or relationships but other relationships as well and what i do know is that you cannot have healthy relationships um, otherwise with other people if your marriage relationship is not good again you cannot have healthy relationships with other people if your marriage relationship is not good your marriage relationship is the foundation and the roadmap per se to every other relationship that you're going to have in life hence what as well you can't have a healthy relationship with your husband or your wife if his husband is on here or going to watch this until your relationship with god is healthy and many of you may be asking what does a healthy relationship look like well a healthy relationship looks like one that's um, of confidence one that has effective communication one where trust is, one where love and respect is being demonstrated at all time, one where mutual submission is there, one where, it, where the other person is deliberately doing things to make the other person happy or feel loved or feel accepted, feel wanted, um, even when they don't feel like it, right? Because even in our relationship with God, that's what he does. You know, he's always offering himself up to us through his word by way of his Holy Spirit and other measures to make us feel loved, feel wanted, um, as if we belong. And that's the same characteristics that we should be demonstrating in our marriage relationships. So if you're on here on this morning, hey, Tanja, and you're wondering, you know, what, what should I be doing in my marriage relationship? How should I be showing up? I get the question often as uh, from men and women as to, you know, what does a wife look like? What does a husband look like? And I always point them back to the word of God because, you know, I can make up anything and tell you, well, she's nice, she's, she's this, she's that, or he should do this or he should do that. But the best answer that you're going to receive is in the word of God. And if you would just go back to the Word of God and see what the Word of God has to say about how you should show up as an individual, how you should show up as a wife, how you should show up as a husband, then you'll be able to incorporate those things in your marriage relationship. So then the question is asked then, well, how do I demonstrate those things or implement those things in my marriage relationship? I've been doing this for so long. I've been this way for so long. I've thought this way for so long and I can't seem to get a handle or a grab on uh, you know how to show up confidently in my marriage how to show up uh, and demonstrating in, in, um, love and respect and trust and all of these things because I have things that I've not even dealt with in my own life and what I would say to that is the first thing is you have to renew your mind yeah hey Tidra you have to change the way that you think I can't stress this enough. I know people, I, I believe people take this, uh, they don't take this serious. When I talk about renewing your mind, you have to literal, literally shift the way you've been thinking for so long. If you... Okay, I'm back. I want to wait for a minute, you guys. So, people take it lightly um, when you're, you talk about the mind. But you have to understand that you are you have a soul, Right? you have a soul and in your soul it's your mind your emotions and your will 
and all three of those things are connected i talk about the mind a lot because the mind controls every aspect of your life every aspect of your life and if you can't get a handle on the way that you think the way that you process information the way that you give give away or give off information or energy you will always be stuck in a rut many people are going through marital issues right now going through situations right now be it the husband or the wife or both for that uh, matter because of the way that they think even if you talk about somebody that's struggling with infidelity that person thinks that he needs somebody or she needs somebody outside of her husband or outside of his wife to please him or her that person thinks that they can't get the gratification, the love, the attention from that other person. On the flip side of that, that person that is not giving the love, gratification, or satisfaction, don't, don't think that they need to do that. So everything starts in the mindset. So if we just took some time out every single day just to change the way that we think, our relationships will be better. Our marriages will be better. You won't constantly blame your husband, your ex, your baby daddy, your baby mama, or whomever for where you are right now. But you will start taking control of your own life. And you will start taking ownership, which is also responsibility, and saying, you know what? There are some things that I need to change. Yeah, that person may not have been the best person for me. Yeah, that person may not have demonstrated love toward me. Yeah, that person may have cheated or whatever the case may be. But there are some things that I, that I have to now take ownership of and take responsibility for as to why my relationships are not showing up in the way that I would like them to or in the way that I deserve for them to be to show up. So when you get to a point where you look at things around you and all you can do is constantly blame other people then you're doing yourself a, a disservice we all have the opportunity to have an abundant life and that includes an abundant marriage if that's not happening i hate to be the bearer of bad news but that's self-imposed that's self-created that's self-inflicted if abundance is not around you, if you're not tra attracting abundance, if your marriage is not in, abundant, in an abundant place, if your relationships are not in a, an abundant place, that has all to do with you. Not necessarily the other person. It has a, it has a lot to do with you because you have the power, you have the control, and you have the ability to attract an abundant life. How? By what you are giving off. So then you have to ask yourself, are there areas in my life where I need to stop and reflect on because I'm not attracting abundance? My marriage is not abundance. My relationships with other people, it does not say abundance. My finances, they do not say abundance. So we have to take responsibility, you all. We have to get to a place of ownership and reflection and execution. Ownership, okay, this is, I'm taking ownership of this, this thing, this issue, this problem, this space, this place. Reflection, there are some things that I need to change and I am willing to do that. Execution, change them changing them you know I talk to people all the time and I hear them say oh it's hard to change it's hard to for me to stop doing this or for me to stop doing that honestly it's not honestly you have everything inside of you right now to turn your marriage around if that's your story you have everything inside of you right now to turn your relationship around if that's your story. You have everything inside of you right now to change, to turn your finances around if that's your story. But is what, what are you willing to do with what you already have? How are you going to use those things to better your life, to better your marriage, to better your relationship? 
So I just wanted to come on quick, quickly for a quick wipe chat, wipe tip, a less chat session. If anybody wants to ask any questions right now, you can go ahead and do so. Um, but that's all I have. Ownership, reflection, and execution. If somebody can type that for me, that'd be great. Ownership, reflection, and execution. Three very powerful words that you can begin to incorporate in your day every single day. And if you need things to change in your marriage, your relationships, finances, whatever, whatever area of opportunity for you, I want you to take ownership, I want you to reflect, and then I want you to execute those three things. those three things I can't see anything so I don't know if you guys are sending me 